Hello everyone, I am Adrian Tukolo. I work with Dyslexia Nigeria. Dyslexia is a difficulty with learning how to read, how to write and how to spell. It affects your level of comprehension and can also come with poor concentration and attention. Dyslexia is unaffected by a level of intelligence. It's not affected by a socioeconomic status. It's not as a result of poor schooling or poor teaching. It is the way the person learns. And this ultimately affects learning to read and write. I saw a video, uh, an animation recently, and it aptly describes what dyslexia is. It depicts a little boy that struggled with concentrating in class. He found it very difficult to spell. He couldn't keep up with the reading pace in class. In fact, people made fun of him. His handwriting was really poor, and he found make doing his homework very difficult. A dyslexia could also come as lack of attention, simply because it can affect your memory. And there's only so many information you can handle at a time. And with weak working memory, you tend to lose concentration because you discard the information, you know, once it, it becomes too much. So dyslexics also um, have difficulty putting their thoughts to paper. They have very great ideas. And, uh, but writing this down sometimes as a result of the inability to spell properly, they find it difficult to put their ideas on paper. Much younger dyslexics, very much younger, the toddlers would speak late. You would find that um, there's some of those children that are three years old and they're still babbling. The parents are getting worried that they can't speak. But it's not all bad with dyslexia. Dyslexia comes with great strengths as well. And one of the ways you would know a dyslexic person is though they have a number of difficulties, they have quite an amount of strength as well. Dyslexics are very good at thinking outside the box. They're great thinkers. In fact, you find a lot of inventors are dyslexic. Dyslexia is not a disease or an identifiable physical condition, but a learning style. That's better. It shouldn't matter how slowly a child learns, as long as we are encouraging them not to stop. Robert John Mayhem. While there are challenges to being dyslexic, there are also enormous strengths. Lisa Masca. Dyslexics are very creative. You only want to think of Steven Spielberg, I mean of DreamWorks, and you would imagine how creative they can be. They're very good with music and art and design. They have great spatial awareness. And so they're very good with design. Lots of architects are dyslexic. Oh, what do we have here? Here are some of the signs you will see in your grade school. One is the child has difficulty remembering what even happens in a story. Your child will frequently mispronounce some words. I mean, he can say magazine instead of magazine. A cucumber, a cu -cu 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 instead of cucumber. At other times, you will find that he misspelled. In fact, spelling is such a huge problem for dyslexics. So we started Dyslexia Nigeria with the aim of supporting 
dyslexic children and adults in school or in the workplace. Dyslexics really have it tough. Can imagine being in school and not being able to keep up with the curriculum or being in a workplace and you're not keeping up with the deadlines because you're finding it difficult to read your memos and articles. And yet dyslexics are very strong people. They have a lot of talents that society needs to tap into. And yet if we do nothing, dyslexics will continue to fail. They will not achieve their full potential. And so we started Dyslexia Nigeria in order to support them. I remember years ago, I had this one boy that came up to me and said, would I ever learn how to read? He was being bullied in school and his parents didn't understand that he wasn't being lazy. We thought, unless we do something, somebody has to do something. And unless we do something, these people will fall through all the cracks. Society will be worse off for it. The cost of unremediated dyslexia is high for the individual and for society at large. The individual would face failure from very young. The mental health challenges that come with that is unprecedented. Suicide rates will continue to go up, especially with students. And so Dyslexia Nigeria seeks to support dyslexics. And we do this through teacher training. Unless teachers can identify dyslexics early, we won't be able to remediate it in time. The longer it takes to do something, the more resources, the more time, the more effort it will require. It will be difficult, if not impossible, to find any other disability that affects so many children, not only in America, all over the world, including Nigeria. Dyslexia is the most common learning disability in the world. When you take all of the learning disabilities, put them all together, dyslexia makes up 80 to 90%. Chances are, if your child is struggling with reading, if he's struggling with writing, he's not doing as well as he could in school, and he's quite intelligent, chances are he is dyslexic. At Dyslexia Nigeria, we have a nice training programs for parents, for teachers, for educators, administrators of schools, owners of schools, and anyone who's interested in knowing more about dyslexia. Um, our programs are either in centre or out of the centre. First of all, we have the screening and assessment program that takes place in the center. Here we have clients that bring in their children to get screened for dyslexia. Secondly, we have the awareness program whereby we go to various schools or organizations and give brief talks about dyslexia and other specific learning difficulties. Then also we have the universal screening program which takes place in schools as well for just the year one pupils. Every Child Read is a project organized by the Society of Nigeria to enable children, dyslexic children in public school to read, write and spell and it's been very great and it's been very, it's been so awesome and fulfilling. We got through it and you know we're able to um, organize seminars for teachers to um, help them know and you know we're also able to help the children read, spell and sound like they've improved greatly and even their teachers can attest to it and it has helped them in, even in their school work. Supporting teachers and training them so that they can help dyslexics is what Dyslexia Nigeria is all about. We also carry out assessments and screenings. We must be certain that a person has dyslexia so that when we apply the interventions they will work. We also sell resources and we carry out one-to-one -one specialist tuition. But beyond all of that, we do a lot of awareness campaign. We need people to know what we're doing. We need people to know about dyslexia. We need people to know that dyslexics are not stupid, they're not dumb, and they can achieve 
and they can contribute to society and they will. So we want you to join us. Support what we're doing at Dyslexia Nigeria. Stand up for all dyslexics and say to yourself today, I am dyslexia aware and I will make a difference.